Welcome back, Gotham fans! Episode 4 of the Penguin Centani. A game-changing episode. Absolutely. Shifting focus from Oz to Sofia Falcone in a brutal and captivating way. Let's start with that title, Centani. It's Italian for 100 years, right? Exactly. It works on multiple levels. On the surface, it speaks to the Falcone reign, a hundred years of power and influence in Gotham. A traditional Italian toast, wishing someone a long life. Which takes on a darker, more ironic meaning in the context of crime families. Precisely. It's like saying, enjoy it while it lasts, because you never know when your time is up, especially poignant considering how the episode ends. Speaking of endings, that final scene with Sophia walking through the mansion as her family collapses around her, it's seared into my brain. It's like watching a Greek tragedy unfold, Sophia dismantling everything Carmine built, brick by brick. Let's back up a bit and talk about how this episode reframes Sophia's story. We knew she was a Falcone, but this paints a whole new picture. Absolutely. The way they dig into her past and her relationship with Carmine is fascinating. We see her in flashbacks, so composed and devoted to her father. She bought into the whole Falcone legacy completely. Which makes the reveal about the hangman killings even more gut-wrenching. That bombshell that it was Carmine, not Sophia, pulling the strings the whole time. It's a complete takedown of a woman we thought was in control. It changes everything we thought we knew about Sophia and her motivations. And it sets the stage for her descent in Arkham. The way Kristen Milioti portrays Sophia's transformation is chilling. Absolutely. You can see her internalizing that trauma. Watch it warp her. The Arkham scenes are particularly intense. They really are. The show doesn't shy away from showing the cold, hard reality of an institution designed to crush your spirit. It's not the over-the-top Arkham we might see in other Batman stories. And the supporting cast really sells the horror of that place. Sid Skidmore as Abby and Marie Botha as Magpie create this atmosphere of constant unease. Arkham becomes a character itself. It's a crucible, a representation of all the ways Gotham fails its people. You see that shift in Sophia after Arkham. It's like that place broke something in her. Definitely. By the time she gets out, it's a whole new Sophia. Milioti plays it brilliantly. This isn't just someone seeking revenge, this is a reckoning. Let's talk about Mark Strong as Carmine Falcone. Big shoes to fill after John Turturro's portrayal in The Batman. He's fantastic. Strong doesn't try to imitate Turturro, but brings a coldness that fits perfectly with the episode's themes. This Carmine is a decade earlier, seen through Sophia's memories. There's a ruthlessness. A coldness that really fits with what the episode is trying to do. Exactly. And it contrasts sharply with how Sophia saw him. In those early scenes, you can feel the weight of her admiration, that blind trust. Which makes Oz's betrayal even more devastating. It's not just betraying Sophia, it's shattering her entire worldview. And that leads us to Sophia's actions at the end of the episode, poisoning her entire family. It's not even just revenge at that point, no. It's dismantling everything Carmine built, brick by brick. And the way she does it, just ice cold. It's chilling. She's taken those years of torment in Arkham, that systematic breaking down, and weaponized it. Which brings us to an interesting question. Is Sophia becoming the very monster she despised, or is it something else? That's the central question the episode wants us to wrestle with. She was failed by the system, betrayed by the people she trusted most. It's hard to watch her story and not feel a sense of, not justification, but understanding. And then leaving the most hated guy alive to spread the word. A power move to let people know what she's capable of. Absolutely. And the method she uses, the carbon monoxide poisoning. It's a direct echo of Carmine's own tactics, but she's amplifying them, taking them to a whole new level. She's claiming her birthright as a Falcone, but on her own terms. Exactly. And that scene in the greenhouse with Gia, Carla's little girl on the surface, it seems so innocent, even tender. But in context, it takes on a much darker meaning. It's like Sophia's passing on this inescapable darkness, continuing the cycle of violence and betrayal. And it highlights the cyclical nature of their world, the sins of the father, the weight of legacy. It all comes crashing down. Sophia's perpetuating that cycle. So what do you think this means for Oz going forward? He's in trouble. Sophia's not just out for revenge. She's dismantling the entire system that destroyed her. Oz has no idea what's coming. He thinks he's calling the shots, but Sophia's playing a whole different game now. Absolutely. This isn't just about taking down Oz. She decimated her entire family, leaving a vacuum in Gotham. And I don't think she's going to walk away from that. It's going to be explosive. Carrying the weight of her family's legacy, but like a weapon. This episode really hammers home the show's themes of legacy and the cost of power in Gotham. And it leaves us with that central question. Is Sophia justified? 
or has she become the very thing she was fighting against?